Welcome back to P1. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Unit 1.4, Negative and Fractional Indices. I put the the rules that we're going to be looking at today, the four rules down the side. Okay, I think they're quite self-explanatory. Let's get into a couple of examples. And what we'll start with is using the rules that we used in Unit 1.1. So if I look at this one, it's just going to be x to the 5 minus minus 5. So it's going to be x to the 10. Nothing difficult there. And this one, we've got x to the 1 third plus 5 thirds. So it's going to be x to the 6 thirds, which is the same as x squared. So two very straightforward questions to start off. Now let's look at the next one here, number three. So cube root, so I'm using one of my rules here, so I can change the cube root into the power of third. Eight x to the power of nine to the power of third. Okay. Um, so what I can do there is, I'm just trying to break it down in steps. So eight to the power of third, and we're looking at x to the power 9 to the power of 3rd. Now remember when you're dealing with this, you're multiplying these powers. So 9 times a 3rd is going to be 3. So that means x to the power 3. And the cube root of this 8 here is going to be 2. So we get 2x cubed. Another way you could look at it would be, if I just rub this out, is thinking of the numbers and the letters separately. So you're thinking, you're taking the cube root of 8, and then with your power, your x to the power 9, you're taking that as a power. So the cube root of 8 is 2, and then x to the power 9 is x cubed. Okay, and that's kind of what you're thinking about in your head. With the fourth one here, first we need to split these fractions up. And then we've got 5x cubed over x10, so it's going to be 3 minus 10, so 5 to the power of negative 7. And then x squared minus uh, divided by x10 is 2 minus 10, so x to the negative 8. Okay, and then these could also be written as 5 over x to the positive 7 and 1 over x to the positive 8. So if you needed to write them as a positive power, then you could. Now let's look at evaluating a few numbers. So if I have 64 to the power of half, what that means is I'm looking at the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8, and really it is plus or minus 8. 8 to the power of 3rd, we've done this one. Cube root of 8, so it's 2. Now, when I've got a negative power, what I want to do here is first change it to a positive power. So I can do that by essentially looking at the inverse of this fraction. So this is going to become 3 over 2 squared, which is 9 over 4. Now I'm looking at the last one, very much the same way. We want to change it to a positive power first. So it's going to become 4 over 9 to the 3 over 2. So you're just changing from a negative power to a positive power. Then what I really want to do here is square root first, then cube. Bottom of the fraction is the root, top of the fraction think of as the power. So square root first, so it's going to be 2 over 3 cubed, so it's going to be 8 over 27. I'll give you a few to try yourself.
I'm just going to jump in here on question three. Simplifying these ones, 64 to the power of half is the square root of 64, which is 8. And then x to the power of 10 raised to the power of half. And you multiply the powers, so x to the power of 5. And that's A. If I'm looking at B, put that one underneath. Again, 125 to the power of third is cube root of 125, which is 5. And then x to the power of 12 raised to the power of 1 third is going to be multiplying them x to the power of 4. And then part C, first we need to simplify by splitting my fraction up, sorry, and then essentially cancelling or using my rules. So 2x to the minus 7 plus x to the minus 5. And often you would leave these then as positive powers. Um, if it wants you to, it will often actually say in a question to leave as a positive power. Okay, final question here. Let's start with a, so it's y to the power of 3rd, so it's 1 over 8 x cubed to the power one third so if i'm thinking of it the eighth to the power one third is the cube root of one eighth which is one half so there we are half and if i think of the powers x cubed to the power one third you multiply the power, so it's just going to be 1, so x. So my first one is just a half x. Now my second, we've got a half y to the minus 2. So again, let's break it down. This time, actually, I'll break it down. i use a black pen. So, you know, my 1 eighth to the minus 2 is going to be the same as 8 squared, 64. My x to the 3 to the minus 2, I can just multiply them, x to the minus 6. And then replacing that back in here, I'm going to have a half times 64 times x to the negative 6. Half of 64 is 32, and I can put my x to the power 6 on the bottom there instead. Hope you found the video useful. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe as I work through each unit in the International A-Level Mathematics um, for Excel.